Hello, I'm Vinny and this is Make a Chat 3. It's been a while since I did a Make a Chat video. That's not intentional. Posted two project videos since then. Then I was down in Texas for about a week and then down in Indianapolis for another week and then I got sick. I'm just now getting over that. So it's been a little longer than I had hoped, but here we are. In this video, I wanna go over the two previous project videos I posted and then talk about some future projects as well. So the first project video was making these mini fishing spears to catch small fish for my friend Peter. And I realized it's, it's a very niche project. Not many people are gonna really want fishing spears to collect small fish, but Peter did. And it's an interesting project. Peter just came to me and was like, hey, can you make some fishing spears to help me collect blennies? I was like, sure. But it was a very open-ended project and there were some issues I had to um, deal with in the process, a couple design and construction issues. And I like to talk about two of those. One uh, is the design and the construction of the spear heads themselves. And from the get-go, I wanted a spearhead design that was removable. So you could replace the spearheads um, as they got damaged. And then also, at first I was considering making several different designs, you know, making some spearheads with one spike, some with three spikes, some with five or six spikes. But um, Peter found a couple references where people would use fishing spears to collect small fish for scientific purposes. They were both lacking in a lot of detail, but one detail they did, one of them gave, was that they used spearheads with five spikes and they seemed to work quite well. So I just ended up just making the five spiked spearheads. One issue with the spearheads was finding a material to make the spikes out of. And I, at first I considered fishing hooks, taking them and straightening them out. To, and the problem there was that that was pretty time consuming. And even if I use big fishing hooks, the spikes were a little shorter than I really wanted. But I, I played around with that, but I wasn't completely happy with it. What I really needed was some sort of wire that was thin, but yet stiff. Um, and also readily available and cheap because I knew I'd be needing a lot of spikes and I couldn't really find any wire that really fit those criteria. And then I remembered that Peter uses bike spokes to help kind of prod out uh, blennies that are hiding in crevices. And so I was like, hey, bike spokes is probably really good. So uh, well, actually I was just trying to look for an old abandoned bike or, you know, a bike wheel that someone had thrown away so I could just get some free uh, spokes. Unfortunately, couldn't. Uh, and I think partly because there are these guys that drive around in trucks around here in Chicago and pick up scrap metal. Uh, I call them professional pickers. I don't know, they probably have a real job name. I don't know. But I think they scoop up that kind of stuff a lot faster than I can get to it. So I ended up having to go to a bike shop, got some bike spokes, tried it out, and they worked really well. So then I, I bought a bunch of bike spokes online. So originally I was going to uh, try to attach the spikes to cap nuts, which are just basically regular nuts that are enclosed on one end. And I was going to try to braise, well at first the fishing hooks, to the outside of these. And I've never really braised before, but I tried it, it didn't work. I tried a different variations on brazing and soldering and I just couldn't get the spikes to attach to the outside of these nuts. And it was very frustrating. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I was just walking to the hardware store for an unrelated project and I saw these coupling nuts, which I've used before, um, but when I saw them in the hardware store, it just dawned on me. It was like, instead of attaching the spike to the outside of a nut, I could just epoxy them into the inside and that should work. And I tried it and it, it works quite well and I'm happy with um, the coupling nut design. The other issue with these um, fishing spears was finding a material to make the body of the spear out of. And I considered a variety of different materials. I considered tent spokes, I considered, yeah, even considered uh, old fishing poles. I strongly considered arrow shafts, like from bow and arrows. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find arrow shafts in like single quantities um, because I guess no one makes 
a single arrow. They tend to make a bunch of arrows at once. And I didn't really want to spend 50 or $60 on a dozen arrow shafts just to find out they weren't going to work for me. So didn't know what I was going to do there. I happened to see like an, a Home Depot ad. I think it was online. It might've been, um, uh, an actual flyer or something, but they were advertising fiberglass driveway markers. And I was like, Oh, that looks good. So I drove off to Home Depot, looked at them and I was like, Oh, this is going to work. And, and, and it really worked out well. The fiberglass, it's flexible a little bit, but still stiff, uh, strong fiberglass is saltwater resistant. They're not that heavy. The fiberglass is cuttable, sandable, drillable, and they come in bright colors. And so when I discovered the driveway markers, I was, I was pumped. Um, I was really excited. So I think the spears turned out nice, but I haven't had an opportunity to use them and neither has Peter, but he has a collecting trip planned um, for a couple months from now and he's gonna try them out and I will let you know how they work. The other project video I posted was this pallet wood lamp and the design inspiration for this came from a, a fence that's uh, not too far from here. Uh, that's just real simple, uh, just simple wooden boards that are pretty close together. And it's just a nice clean design, simple, clean lines. And I, I really like it. Uh, and so thinking about that fence, I decided to make a lamp kind of like that. I wasn't trying to, uh, replicate it exactly. Just kind of mimicking the idea. And at first I was going to go with three full width pallet wood boards. And I drew that up in a program called SketchUp, which is a free version of SketchUp for making 3D models. There's a little bit of a learning curve to SketchUp, but once you kind of get the basics, it's pretty easy to use. And I use it a lot for designing projects. When I drew up that design with three boards, I didn't, I didn't really like it. It just didn't quite look right. I was afraid there wasn't enough space to let the light out of the sides. So then I thought, well, if I cut the boards in half, I could go with like five smaller boards. And I drew that up in SketchUp and that looked a lot better. The reason I was going to go with three boards or five boards was that humans actually find groups of odd numbers of objects more aesthetically pleasing than groups containing an even number of objects, um, which is a little weird, but that's why I was going with three or five as opposed to maybe going with four or six. One issue I had with this was how to attach these layers and still kind of get this floating effect. And at first, I actually went out and bought, I don't know what it's called. I call it square dowel. It's just this square stock. And what I was going to do, I'm going to hit the ceiling. Oh, I'm really going to hit the ceiling. I was going to just put four pieces of that, you know, one piece in each corner here and attach each layer to that. I drew that up in SketchUp and I really didn't like the look of it, but I wasn't sure how else to do it. But, so I was just going to go with that. And then I was walking the dog one day and it just dawned on me. It's like, forget that. Use steel rod. Just drill a hole through the corner, put the rod right through there and it'll look a lot better. I, I drew that up in SketchUp and it looked a lot better than using the wood dowel. So I made it this way and I think it turned out very nice. I'm very happy with this design. So that's previous projects, future projects. In the last Make a Chat video, I mentioned wanting to make like a skateboard or a long board. And I asked for recommendations for jigsaws so that I could cut the skateboard out of wood. Um, I don't really have space for a bandsaw and I don't really want to cut the skateboard out by hand. So I think a jigsaw would be a good solution. Some people left comments suggesting jigsaws. Uh, from those comments and some other research I did, the consensus seems to be to go with a Bosch jigsaw. Apparently they're the best. I don't know. Uh, I looked into it. They're a little more expensive than kind of what my budget allows at the moment. So I'm going to have to save up for that. So the skateboard project is on hold a little bit. I still want to do it. I'm still excited about it. The other project I need to do is I still need to make a picture frame. I've been looking for some wood and I found some wood that I think will work. It's a little, it's a little thinner than I wanted, um, but I'm going to play around with it. It might work. Um, if it does probably have a project video on that up in the near future. 
Um, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna have to find some different wood. I'm, ho I'm, I'm hopeful that it'll work. I also still have a lot of pallet wood left. I have a lot of wider boards as opposed to kind of uh, smaller boards. I don't know what to do with that yet. Um, if anyone has any suggestions, anything you'd like to see me build with that pallet wood, leave a comment and I'll consider it. Keep in mind, I'm better situated to make smaller projects as opposed to big projects. But if you have suggestions for small projects, let me know. Um, maybe I'll make one of those, I don't know. Well, that's it for this time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my videos and you like them, please consider subscribing. You'll get notified when I post new videos. And uh, I'll see you next time. Oh, wow. Hello. Oh, hello. Wow. Hello. Hello, I'm Vinny, and this is Make a Chat number <laughs> videos since the last Make a Chat. Uh, <laughs> switch them out. Ah, crap. So the other bot, uh, we should just start over.